Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to build the all new Flight Test F-14 Chuck Glider. This is a fast and easy build. It only takes about 10 minutes to make this aircraft. We're going to go over how to build the aircraft and I'm going to show you how to reconfigure the wings. What do you say we get started? We're going to begin by building the fuselage. The fuselage consists of six pieces. We've got three that form the front half, three that form the back half. We're going to do the front half first. You'll notice that one piece is different from the others. This is going to be in the center. When we glue these together, we're going to make sure that we've got our markings on the outside on the left and the markings on the outside of the right piece as well. We're going to add glue to the center part. Whenever we add glue, we want to make sure that we do not put glue here or here on this tab at the back. Since this is going to be a chuck glider, we want to make sure that we get plenty of glue up here at the nose because this is going to be taking a lot of abuse. And make sure everything is lined up front to back and we'll hold this in place for a few seconds. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once that's done, we're going to cut off all of this excess here at the back. When we do that, we now have a nice clean edge. Just like on the front half, we're going to be taking the odd piece and it's going to be sandwiched in the middle. Let's do a quick test fit. You want to make sure that this little step is facing downwards. It's going to go together just like that. We're going to add glue to the center piece. And notice that I'm not going to put glue on the tab. Notice that I'm not going to put glue on the forward facing tab. Once that cools down, we'll flip it over and do the same on the other side. Also avoid putting glue on the tab sticking up near the rear. And just like we did on the front half, we're going to trim the back to neaten it up just a little bit. Once that's had a chance to cool down, locate the horizontal stabilizers from your kit. You'll notice that we've got a line here and here. These, these are, we're going to flip it over and we're going to glue the back half of the fuselage onto the bottom. Use the tab and slot for alignment. Now that we've got our test fit, I'm going to put my thumb right here and we're going to add glue from here back. Once we've got our glue added, we're going to reinsert the tab through the slot and we're going to hold this in place. I want to make sure that I'm centered here at the front. I've got it pinched in two places, there at the front and there at the back. Hold that for a full two minutes while the glue cools. Once that's had a chance to cool down, go ahead and grab one of the two sets of wings included with the kit. It doesn't matter which. What we're going to do, we're going to slide our wing all the way back until it locks into our horizontal stabilizers. We're going to take and slide this piece all the way up. You'll see that I've got a little bit of an overlap right here. We're going to take and we're going to push that in place and we're going to hold down. All right, this is our test fit. I'm making sure that it's tight here and that it's tight back here. Once I'm happy with my test fit, I'm going to pull this piece off. I'm going to run glue from here. I'm going to stop about a quarter inch from my wing. I'm going to run three heavy beads of glue. I'm going to make sure this is pushed backwards. You'll see that I'm coming in kind of high. I'm going to press it down and press and hold for a full two minutes. Once that's had a chance to cool down, we're going to install our first engine nacelle. To do that, we're going to slide the nacelle into the slot here at the rear, and we're going to push it all the way forward until it stops. Up here at the front of the aircraft, we're going to see that this tabs in, All right? Once we've got it in place, I'm going to do a small line of glue right along here. We'll also apply a bead of glue right here. You'll notice that I'm not adding any glue where the nacelle meets the actual wing. Do the same thing on the other side. I also like putting a very small drop of glue right here. Let that cool, then we're going to install our nose. 
To install the nose, I'm first going to take and pinch the end of the tab. This is going to help it drop in a little bit easier. I'm also going to do the same right here. Once we've got it prepped, I'm going to simply slide the tab into the slot backwards and I'm going to push straight down. To keep everything in place, I'm going to take a single penny and I'm going to drop it in this slot. I'm going to wiggle it around to make sure it goes through the slot on the tab. That'll hold it there in place in the front. You'll notice that I've got a small gap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push straight down and I'm going to insert a second penny. There's a very tiny slot right here. Once that's done, our aircraft is ready to fly. If you look here at the back, you can easily add some lift by bending straight up. It doesn't take a whole lot. To change wing configurations, you're simply going to remove both pennies. We're going to lift up here in the back. We're going to pull the nose off and lift the wing up. Remove the one wing assembly. We're going to drop the next one in place. Drop it down and we're going to reinstall our nose. 